Hello everyone. This is just a short follow-up video from my last video and what I will show you now is I have connected to my circuitry the same as my last video a rodent coil and let me show you it looks like this and I've connected it exactly the same to the same circuitry that I used to pulse the other bifiler coil. So this rodent coil is also bifiler wound and it actually doesn't matter what the shape of the coil is as long as it's bifiler. And it will produce exactly the same effects. And for this to demonstrate I have here again this neon bulb and if I touch it with my finger from the left hand it will light up again like you saw in the last videos. And what I've also noticed is um, it doesn't really matter which metal surface I touch like this soldering iron, it's not powered on of course, but it's just the metal that I touch and it lights up. Or I have here this piece of organite and this is copper and if I touch it anywhere where the copper is it will also light up. Even if this is not connected to the circuitry at all. And another example I have here, I've placed this a bit further away. So this is like a meter away and this is just a stainless steel uh, for a uh, knife. <laughs> And as you can see, because it's metal, if I touch it, then it will light up too. And same goes for this copper torus. So from what I've seen, the length of the cable is what limits it right now. But if I would use a longer cable, it would work further away, of course. So, yeah, the distance is not important. And also we could use water to power this because um, as far as I understand it, it is the water in the body that is acting as a conductor for this high voltage um, yeah, electricity that we are using here. And yeah, this is basically how this works. And this is why I can easily use my body as a conductor or any other metal object. I think this was pretty interesting to show. So thanks for watching and goodbye.